Our next guest is a Grammy-nominated singer, songwriter, photographer, filmmaker, and best-selling author of the new book, Touch the Earth, who also uh, is one of the most fabulous people I know. Um, and I'm just going to introduce him. Please welcome the fabulous Julian Lennon. <laughs> Julie, you've always been at the top when it comes to environmental issues, and we're in an administration that really doesn't care about environmental issues. Um, and you've made a number of documentaries on the subject. What do you think is going on here? Well, in, in short, I think any administration that opts for profit over planet mm -hmm. or profit over people yeah. is, you know, just not right. It's, yeah. corru it's actually yeah. corrupt. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, it, it's as simple as that. Yeah. Now, your new book is, is uh, Touch, the, Touch the Earth, and yes. it's for kids. Yeah. It's a children's book. Yeah. What inspired you to write a book for kids like this? Well, uh, as, as some of you know, many of you know, I would hope, uh, that, uh, you know, I've written songs about environmental and humanitarian issues over the years um, and made documentaries, too. And a friend of mine, a dear friend of mine, Bart Davis, who's the co-writer of this, this book, uh, we were sitting down talking about a biography. And as he was looking through all the work that I'd done, he said, well, have you ever done anything for kids? And I said, well, you know, some animated series, maybe the odd CD for charity, but nothing from, from here, from me, right. you know. So he said, what about a kid's book? And I said, well, as long as we can incorporate all that uh, what I do represents right. uh, and, and uh, that I have a passion for, uh, and put it in a book, a beautiful book that tells a beautiful story with beautiful illustrations, that picture book that harkens back to the old days of, of uh, sitting with your mother or your grandmother uh, mm -hmm. at nap time or bedtime, reading through and going on an adventure. Right. But also something that, was, that had an educational element to it. Because I also, also found that, you know, at this age, especially three to six, is really the sort of why age. Yeah, where, where yeah kids, that's true. Kids that's are, true. A lot well, of why. Why are the oceans <laughs> polluting? Yeah, why that's is right. the, you oh, know, a million so questions. this is about engaging them into asking those questions, and, into moving, and also as a reminder for the parents, too, that have gotten along, and along the way. And it's a personal story uh, yeah. for you, too, isn't it? Because the main character is an airplane called the White Feather Flyer. That's right. And yeah. the White Feather is something so personal and interesting. Tell the in, audience. Indeed. indeed. I'll, I'll try to be brief. I'll try to summarize it. <laughs> It's a tough one. You only um, have a minute. I only have a minute. Okay. Uh, uh, many months ago, Dad told me that if he was going to pass away, the way that he'd let me know that he was going to be all right or that we were all going to be all right was, would be in the form of a white feather. Twenty years ago, I was on tour in Australia with Saltwater, uh, number one at the time, and uh, uh, I was approached by an Aboriginal tribe uh, and news crews and people in a hotel. and. Uh, so I went down to visit them, and the elder, the elder of the tribe, called the Murning Tribe, was a woman. And she approached me with a, 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 a male swan's white feather, mm -hmm. wow. which is about yay big, wow. and said to me, uh, you have a voice, can you help us? Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, it was, wow. a, it was about, uh, you know, do I remain a rock and roller or step up to the plate? So I, I spent 10 years making a documentary about them called The Whale Dreamers. <laughs> Whale Dreamers. Every, I mean, listen, you, yeah. do, you do it all. You're a rock and roller, you're a writer, you take care of the environment, you take care of people mm -hmm. with lupus. It's extraordinary. And the fact that you're talking about writing an autobiography is fabulous. But I just wanted to say that you also dedicated this book... Uh, to Mum. To my mom, who taught me to fly without wings. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. One of, the, one of the great women on the planet. One of the great women on the planet. Jules, yeah. you, you have to come back more often. We don't <laughs> see you enough. I know, you, you know? know, my He's wife... He's busy, Whoopi. Uh, I know, that's, that's true. The world. That's well, true. I that, I, I'm trying to do my best, you know. We love you. Thanks for coming. Well, my pleasure, my pleasure. <laughs> Touch the Earth is available today. And what you should know is that a portion of the proceeds will go to support the efforts of the White Feather Foundation.